What's going on guys and welcome to another video. In today's video I'm going to be giving you five things that you should be doing in order to achieve your fitness goals. And starting the list off with number one is tracking your workout progress. If you're not tracking your progress, how on earth are you meant to know what weights you're meant to be lifting in order to get the gains? Moving on to number two is nutrition tracking. I use an app called MyFitnessPal, you've probably heard of it, it's probably the most uh, popular app for tracking your nutrition. The reason being is you want to know how many calories you're intaking, because for example if you're looking to lose body fat, you want to be at a calorie deficit of 3,500 calories, that's one pound of fat loss a week, so you want to be a calorie deficit of three to 500 calories on a day. Uh, on the flip side, um, if you're looking to gain uh, muscle mass, you want to be in a calorie surplus of three to 500 calories a day. So make sure you are tracking your calories and it's a, the important thing of, it's not just calories, uh, make sure you're getting them calories from good macronutrient sources as well. Number three is drink more water, at least four to six liters a day. That roughly works out about eight pints of water. So 60% of your body roughly is water. So if you deprive it of that water, you will not function effectively day to day and also more importantly in the workouts. Number four is incorporating rest days. All you're doing in the gym, obviously you're breaking the muscle down, but if you're not allowing for recovery, how on earth is the muscle meant to get bigger and stronger and allow the body to recover? So you want to be getting at least six to eight hours of sleep a day and also at least, well depending on how your training set out, on average two rest days a week will, will just be enough. Finally, number five is prepare your meals in advance. This saves a hell of a lot of time for the sake of, I usually do mine on a Sunday, prepare your meals for a few days at a time, so like three days, keep them in the fridge, and then when you need the meal, obviously get it out on your Tupperware, you can either eat it cold or microwave it. This saves so much time, and it also keeps you on track with your nutrition. Because so I know for a fact, if I didn't prepare my meals, I'd be like nitpicking at things, and I'll you know I'll be all over the place with my nutrition so yeah number five is obviously prepare your meals in advance well I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and if you've got any other tips make sure you leave them in the comment section below just to help people out and I hope you guys have enjoyed it and don't forget to leave a comment like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one peace